Welcome your lovely face back to another video. So today's one of those days where every video that I will upload, which is basically like two videos, so after this is another one, but it's sort of like that day where I just want to sit down and talk about games, right? Because today something crossed my mind. In fact, it was like a few days ago and it was only like till now I decided to make this video and it's about just video games as a whole and one specific one, True Crime in New York City. Now, if you haven't played this game yet, I highly recommend you guys to pick it up. It's only for PlayStation 2, but it's like $5 if even that now. It's just super cheap, but of course you need like one of the old consoles. I think it was on Xbox, but if you have a PlayStation 2 and you have never played this game, definitely go and get it because that game was one hell of a game and that's my specific topic today. Now without a doubt, in this day and age, YouTube makes so many games popular, right? Even if the game looks hella cool, right? Let's say GTA 4 for example, that game was majorly cool. GTA San Andreas, another like hit game I guess you could say, but where YouTube wasn't a big thing at that time, of course you know, it didn't get as much recognition, I mean let's be honest with it got a shit ton of sales, but you know what I mean, like us being the players, we didn't really see that big ass like, you know, viewership for the game, because the internet was like, I guess kinda quiet, especially YouTube, but a game that I definitely, well first of all, I don't know why it, it kind of like fell off the radar because if I'm not mistaken it was a like franchise like GTA, it was like the true crime franchise because there, there was sorry one before the true crime New York City and both games were hella cool. I'm going to show some really old footage in the background and I'll link the footage where I got it from as well because fortunately uh, my PlayStation 2 is broken and I don't even know how the hell I'm meant to record games on that. but. It fell off the radar and I don't know why because this definitely without a doubt if it was remastered or even if the game came out now it would definitely be head to head with GTA 5. Now you guys might be thinking I always bring up GTA 5 you know a head to head game a rival if you will but only reason I, I do that is because you know this whole situation without a doubt YouTube makes games popular. Now that's not the only reason I, I obviously bring that up but it's nice to bring this up just for other game developers. Developers. First of all, it allows them to have, you know, more ideas. So if you'd like to see a true crime New York City game, basically like a replica for you, but we'll definitely share this video around because you never know. One game developer might see it, whether your friend shares it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and you know, all the legal side of things. I don't really know how that would work, but I guess you could definitely avoid that where it's not straight off ripping off the series. There's definitely a way to go about that. So it's something that I would really love to see because that was a game that I spent so many hours on and it really just popped up in my head simply because I well, it didn't even pop up in my head. I, I physically had the copy in my hand the other week because I was clearing out my room and I found the uh, little magazine thing, you know, the little leaflets that used to come in the PlayStation 2 case thing. I can't find a disc. I, I don't even know where that is, but I found a little like case and the booklet thing and you know, I was like, well shit, this game was the shit and I, I opened up the little book obviously saw the controls and it had like little pictures of gameplay and I was like man this game I remember it. I remember you can run around and arrest like old people just anyone really you was an undercover cop and you can search for them from drugs you can arrest them you had like your own little police station obviously not your own but you know what I mean like you were able to go to your police station that you work for go under where to keep all the cars get some really cool cars some cop cars obviously you could do your little security well not even security it's more like takedowns a tutorial training thing if you will but it wasn't an annoying one it was something that you would do just because it was so damn fun and just wow this was one hell of a game and I just really really wanted to make this video I want you guys to get in the comment section below right now and tell me would you like to see this game actually make an appearance maybe on the new generation of consoles of course I don't even know if that I mean like the chances are kind of low if it's happening again but would you like to see it and do you think this could be straight up a head-to-head -head rival for GTA 5 or in fact a killer get in the comment section below and let me know because it's a super interesting topic and if you guys know why they stopped it then also let me in the comment section below because for some reason I couldn't find it on a Google search but nothing specific came up because you know there's always more meat to the bone if you will so if you know some more information about that let me know in the comment section below but that's gonna wrap up this video you guys might be thinking well shit why did you just tell us that well simply because it was 
one hell of a game, man. It was absolutely fantastic. But be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more awesome content. And I will catch you guys in the next one. But till then, I hope you have a freaking amazing day. And adios, amigos.